everybody. Happy Friday. It's Queen of Light 1111 here for your Friday Twin Flame Energy Check-In. Um, so it looks like, you know, um, a little bit more of the same. I feel like the masculine's getting out of his head a little bit. I do feel like the feminine has started to process things down from, you know, kind of her head space, heart space. Really, she's kind of trying to really process it in the 3D space right now. We've got a lot of fives on the table for her, okay? And fives are a card of, it's the number of challenge. And so in the 3D space, she has three fives. And um, it's followed by the justice card, the number 11. So at this point in time, she's challenged by this relationship, okay? Um, you know, it looks all right. It, you know, just to give you a little quick flavor, it looks okay. I mean, I don't see anything too, too drastic of a change, but, um, there is some progress nonetheless. Okay. Um, so before I get started, remember if you guys want to have your book, your own personal reading, please go to queen of light 1111.com. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I do post free readings there as well. And my username is Queen of Light 1111 on Instagram. So um, follow me there if you are not already. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Bottom of the deck for the Divine Masculine, Six of Cups. So he's very much reflecting on his feminine, and that comes out in his 3D energy. Divine Feminine is his card that comes out that she is very much in his energy. So he's reflecting on his past experiences with her. He is reflecting on reunion. He is reflecting on um, just how things were with her before. And so he's very nostalgic at this time, okay? And so I think this is a beautiful energy for him that he's in around his connection with his divine feminine. And for the divine feminine, she is in the high priestess energy. That's her bottom of the deck card. So I feel like while she's being very, very strong, she is very wise now, um, given this journey, given the evolution of this journey with her masculine, she knows that she's just not going to put it all on the table at this time. So she is very wise. She's keeping her information to herself, her feelings to herself. And um, she's also got this mystery about her, which is making her a little unattainable to the masculine. It comes out as a repeat card, the high priestess in his 3D space. So um, I love that. She's in her power. She's wise. She's just not throwing all her feelings out there. She's just taking it slow, okay? And um, she's just watching. She's observing. She's, you know, been down this road with him before. So she very much, you know, is... Um, very different this time. She's much, much, much wiser this time, okay? In his headspace, where is the divine masculine in his headspace? So we have the three of swords. The three of swords came out, and I'm not taking this, you know, it could be 30, third party situation, but what I'm getting with this whole lineup, because the first card that flew out was three of swords, followed by the fool, followed by the ten of swords, followed by the sun. What I'm getting from this is that, you know, he is feeling some heartbreak. The question was, when this masculine, this collective masculine thinks about his feminine, okay, what is he thinking? He knows how he broke her heart and he's thinking about that, okay? And he wants a new beginning with her. He wants to end this cycle with the ten of swords because he's got this renewed hope He's got, he's feeling positive about her. And remember, this collective is in communication. And so he's feeling more optimistic. He's feeling more illuminated. So he very much wants to heal himself, heal his heart, heal her heart. Okay. He wants this new beginning with the fool's energy. He wants to take a risk, a leap of faith, because he wants to end this cycle of the Ten of Swords with her because he's feeling very optimistic. Like he's seeing the light at the end of this tunnel for the journey for them. Okay. He's starting to be much more optimistic. Um, and in her headspace, we have four cards here. And, um, they are the Six of Swords. So she, in her headspace, wants to move into something smoother, okay? She wants to move into smoother times. 
and she knows you know this with this four of wands energy she wants to set up something stable with him she wants you know a commitment she wants something stable she wants something solid perhaps even marriage doesn't have to be but a commitment okay so she wants to move into smoother waters now she wants to get into this commitment that is in her headspace and then she's in this queen of pentacles energy okay earth sign this is very much about you know um you know she's not in her headspace as the queen of wands or the queen of swords right now that's you know kind of come up later but at least in her headspace she's feeling very well rounded you know she's you know worried about she's not worried she's you know handling her pentacles she's you know working on her career she's keeping her home beautiful she's keeping everything together okay including this relationship probably by the love by the light that she's sending by this higher vibrational energy of the high priestess so she wants to move into something smoother she wants a commitment with her masculine but yet she's still taking care of herself she's nurturing herself while she is nurturing this commitment while she's nurturing this masculine while she's really nurturing this journey and then we have the world card she wants this cycle like he has the ten of swords before he gets into the sun he wants the cycle to complete she wants this cycle to complete she's ready to move in to something smoother with um hit with her with her masculine she's just ready for that she's done with the mental anguish but she's nurturing herself she's taking care of herself she wants to move into a smoother commitment and she wants this cycle to end just like in his space in his headspace you know he knows he broke her heart and his heart but he wants this new beginning he wants to take a risk with the fool's energy he wants to end this cycle of a breakup because he is starting to feel hope because of this nostalgic energy here with the six of cups okay in his heart space uh we have the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is about investment the seven of pentacles is about cultivating like he wants to work on this relationship because he wants to harvest something okay so we have the seven of pentacles the five of wands follows and so this is really a card of conflict too but the way that i'm taking it because of all the cards that flew out it's like you know he wants to work hard at this he wants to invest in this relationship this is also a card of you know rising up to the challenge so in his heart space i'm really getting he wants to rise up to the challenge and have this new beginning this new fresh energized new beginning this is a dupe card because it comes up in her 3d space with his feminine the queen of cups this queen of cups comes out in their connective energy and he's very much viewing her in the queen of cups energy and in the queen of wands energy she is identifying herself differently but this is the same feminine this is not different energies here okay because the question was specifically how is he viewing his feminine and he views her as a mature emotionally balanced compassionate um feminine okay and so he very much wants to invest in this relationship he wants to rise up to the challenge and he wants this new energy this new beginning not the same crap that they had before where the ten of swords where we had the three of swords and the ten of swords like he doesn't want the same crap either right and she, neither does she because she wants the cycle to end so he wants to invest he wants to rise up to the challenge he wants this new beginning with his queen of cups with his feminine okay so now in her um, heart space, we have the three of pentacles. Remember how I said earlier, she's grown, she's learned, she's wise, okay? She's much wiser now. So the three of pentacles, she's grown, she has learned in her heart space, right? She's While she is challenged by the slow pace of this connection, okay? She has still learned, she has grown from this connection in her heart space. She is also in the two of wands energy, which is about planning, okay? She's like, which road am I going to take? Am I going to take the road to him or away from him? Because remember, she's not just solely focused on union, okay? She's focused on her peace. And she has been for a very long time because she has learned this journey is much more than union. This journey is about her evolution. This journey is about his evolution. This journey is about her getting into her higher self and really into her life purpose. So she's grown. And so she's at a place of planning, okay, which road to take because she identifies herself in her heart space as the queen of swords. The queen of swords is 
wise. Again, a wise queen, okay? But she demands the truth. She doesn't play around. She's been through stuff with this masculine, okay? We have that three of swords. Remember that he is feeling in his headspace that he knows he broke her heart. So here she is as the queen of swords. She's not... You know, she's not going to take anything less than the truth, okay? And the Queen of Swords is a dupe card. It comes up as the clarifier to this masculine's divine feminine um, card here. And then we have Temperance right after, which is also comes up as the divine feminine's clarifier in his 3D space. So this is very much his divine feminine, the Queen of Swords and the Temperance card. So she's learned, she's grown. She knows this is not just about union. She is the wiser. So she's planning her next steps, okay? And she is demanding truth, honesty, security, okay? And she knows with this Temperance card, it's going to take patience. Temperance is about patience. Temperance is also about healing, about this relationship being tempered by the twin flame angel, okay? So if someone is too hot and someone's too cold, we're tempering that. So patience is required. So remember, I said temperance shows up in her heart space, in his 3D message, and it also shows up in the future connection where there ultimately will be healing, okay? So in her heart space, she knows that she still needs to heal while she is wiser, while she's planning her next steps, while she's standing in her authority as this wise queen of swords. She does realize that this is going to take some time coming together while they are talking, coming together and coming into full union is going to take some time. And she knows that they both need to heal from this three of swords energy, okay? In the 3D space for the masculine, like what does he want? Where is he in the 3D with his divine feminine? We have the high priestess, the unattainable, the very wise, unattainable, mysterious 5D divine feminine. Remember, that's her underlying energy. So whatever you all are doing, it's effective. Okay, it's very effective because that is exactly how he is viewing you in the 3D as this mysterious, unattainable, okay? woman who is wise, who's educated, who is, um, you know, someone who is a trophy. Okay. She's a trophy. And the card that followed the queen of wands, he sees her as fiery, as independent, as someone who's just this like badass. And so he very much has put her on a pedestal in the 3D. And it's followed by the six of wands, which means he wants to be victorious with her. He wants to win her back. Because remember, in the heart space, he is investing in this relationship. He's rising to the challenge because he wants this new beginning with his divine feminine. So he wants to be successful in the 3D and get out of this feeling of lack of this five of pentacles. This five of pentacles comes up in her 3D space. Um, and so this is very much a card of, you know, that's been repeating with them. It's like this card of abandonment, this card of rejection, this card of lack. And so he may also be feeling like, gosh, do I have what it takes, right, to be with her because she's strong, she's vibrant, she's fiery, she's independent, she's mysterious, she's unattainable, she's a trophy. He has put her on this pedestal. The separation has done him some good where he is seeing the value and the worth of his feminine, okay? And she is in her power as the high priestess. And it is coming up in this 3D energy here. So he very much is, she's this unattainable, but he wants to be victorious. He wants to win her with the Six of Wands. But with the Five of Pentacles energy coming out, coming out after the Six of Wands, he may have some self-esteem issues around, do I have what it takes to get her back? Which is why in his heart space, he is rising up for the challenge, okay? In the 3D space, she is in a rough spot here, okay? But she wants her justice. Five of Pentacles. She's processing. Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. And then justice. I, I'm telling you, the, these cards all flew out. Five, five, five. I was like, oh boy, she's heavy in the 3D. Heavy energy in the 3D. So she's still, she wants her, bottom line is she wants her justice, okay? She wants her justice. She wants her justice over this abandonment and rejection. She wants her justice over this conflict that they had because she is just not satisfied. She's regretful. She feels lost. She's still in the 3D, 
processing this pain that is why she sits in the queen of swords energy in her heart space okay because she's not going to take it anymore she's still feeling a little hurt okay while she is strong and in her power she's still a human being okay she's still a human being living in this world and she is feeling this abandonment still because remember he has three swords in his in his headspace he knows he hurt her and so we have this five of pentacles energy still in her 3d space she's disappointed you know there was this conflict he rejected her because there was this you know alleged third party situation right and that has that is over but still it also ended their relationship so that is why she sits in the high priestess energy as this wise mysterious um feminine who is not going to give up all of her cards right away because she still she still needs him to prove to her rise up to the challenge masculine remember he wants to rise up to the challenge she is waiting for that rising up to the challenge energy okay now uh let's move into 3d messages from the masculine to the feminine and vice versa bottom of the deck for the cards here for the oracle it's pause right now again remember she's not sharing too much so there is a little bit of a pause in this energy and why because here we have the three of swords again the three of thoughts as the clarifier is there's a pause here because remember we still have some pain in the system he's in the three of swords energy in his heart space he wants to end that cycle with her and take this you know a leap of faith with this new beginning she's in you know this all these fives here right with the five of pentacles five of wands five of cups and so you know th this 3d space starts to bleed into their messages to each other and so his first message to his feminine is i'm wearing a mask right now i'm wearing a mask okay i mean it came out this how flew out i'm wearing a mask i'm wearing a mask because the first card that came out was the Ten of Pentacles followed by the Five of Swords. He's kind of like, I'm not sure if you are going to, um, you know, go the long haul with me now after everything that's happened. He's feeling a little insecure. Remember I said in his 3D space, this Five of Pentacles energy, do I have what it takes to get this High Priestess Queen of Wands feminine, okay? Okay. So he's saying this reiterates and reconfirms that yes, he's wearing a mask. He's he's feeling a little insecure about whether or not she would want to build with him again, build something long term. So he's wearing a mask right now because he's fearful he might be defeated. He might be rejected, okay, of this long term offer he wants to make. His next message to her is i'm devoted i'm devoted but right now i'm still obsessed with my thoughts i'm the ten of wands and the devil card here around addiction remember i just said he's wearing a mask because he's scared he might be rejected of this long-term plan that he has with her okay and it, it clearly comes out again i'm devoted i i'm i want to be devoted to this connection as you have been but i'm obsessed over this burden another number 10 okay there these this couple is ending a cycle because we have 10 of swords on his side 10 of pentacles on his side and then we have now 10 of wands okay and we'll tell you 10 of cups comes up here in their connective energy so they're very much ending the cycle right because remember i said the world card comes in her headspace this is like they're going to end this cycle and they're going to come into something great here but in the meantime anything worth having takes a little a, a more effort and uh coming together for this collective couple is going to take effort because again he was wearing a mask because he thinks that he may not have what it takes to win her back so he's in this mental conflict in his brain over this ten of pentacles this long-term commitment that he wants now so he's also saying i'm devoted but i'm having obsessive thoughts about what i did to you and it's burdening me okay i'm devoted i want to be devoted to this connection but i don't know if you're going to want me last message divine feminine like i told you you are in his energy man you're very much in his energy clarified by temperance temperance came out where in her heart and in the future energies and it's clarified by the queen of swords queen of swords in her heart with temperance he knows that he needs to help heal his feminine's heart because his feminine demands the truth his feminine is wise now his feminine is strong his feminine has always been wise but he has just come up to the 
uh, acknowledgement and recognition of this, that his divine feminine is in his energy and she is who he wants. And so they need to temper this relationship. They need to heal. He needs to help heal her, her, this queen of swords. Okay. So now for um, the divine feminine. Okay. Interesting because the card that comes up for her, his mess, her message to him, healing. She needs healing before she will take any solid offers from him. This is the ace of earth. And this is the eight of wands, the eight of flames. So what she's saying here is uh, it's going to take me some healing before I agree to any type of you know, offer even, forget about a long-term plan. You've got 10 of pentacles in your space. That's what you're worried about. I don't even know if I'm going to take this offer right now because I need to heal. So you need to keep communicating with me quickly, swiftly, and transparently. So she's saying I need to heal before I even accept any solid offer, let alone a 10 of pentacles energy. The next thing that she's saying is union. And with the five of cups, okay, the five of cups comes up in her 3D space, reinforced message here. It's a double message. So it's, it's a, it's a strong one. This union, she is very much sad that it has not manifested, that it is suspended. This is the hanged man's energy. And so she's disappointed that they're not able to get it together quickly because of all of this pain. Okay. And she has to own that she has to help heal herself, but she does need him to continue to communicate with her, to continue to, you know, provide her with that security and consistency and the effort. And she's disappointed that union hasn't occurred, that it continues to be suspended. And that is a disappointment for her. Her last message. Oh gosh, the answer is no. So right now she's saying no, just like she said, I need to heal before I even take an offer from you. She's saying the answer is no about this new beginning. This ace of wands is in his heart space and it's with the king of wands that matches the queen of wands in his 3D space. And so she's saying, no, I know you're showing up as a king. That's great. But I'm not going to accept this new beginning yet. And it all really has, it all stems from healing. Because again, we got that card one, um, two, three times. This all stems from healing. They need to heal before she goes down any rabbit hole with him again. He's ready. He wants to invest now. He wants to rise up to the challenge. He wants this new beginning. He wants the cycle to end. But he does feel insecure because he doesn't know how he's going to do this because he's burdened like does he have what it takes to win her back to heal her okay and she's like i forget about your ten of pentacles i don't even want the offer right now until i've healed okay that's a smart decision i gotta say that is a very wise and smart decision take it slow because you don't want to get triggered and go right into separation again i mean this couple's finally come together to talk okay and so now they need to continue to, which is her message, so that she can heal before she accepts any offer. Bottom of the deck for the current and the future energies, King of Swords. This is the match to her heart space, Queen of Swords. This is the match to his 3D message that clarifies Divine Feminine. He has to continue to come up as the King of Swords, this ethical, strong leader who is going to you know, establish something solid, ethical, moral, someone who's, you know, trustworthy, loyal. That is the energy that she wants before she accepts anything from him. So what happens here is, here are the messages as they came out. The first card is four of cups. There's disappointment right, right now. Again, you remember she's disappointed here about this union. They're not able to come together just yet. So there's disappointment in this current connective energy. He's disappointed. He's about his, him not being able to move forward with this great confidence, even though he has this desire to, he wants to rise up to the challenge. You know, she's, this is not happening fast enough for her, even though she knows that this is going to take some time. So right now there is some disappointment in the connection, but they both want this 10 of cups. Okay. They both want to rebuild with this tower energy. They both know with this page of swords that they need to keep investing this is also about observing. This is about observing each other, okay, to see what the other needs, 
all right this time this is not about social media observations anymore they are talking again so this is all about this there's some disappointment because it's not really moving as quickly but with the ten of cups yes you are we are each other's emotional bliss we want to come together but we want to rebuild and now we need to observe each other's needs okay and have this emotionally mature compassionate relationship be compassionate with each other so we can fulfill each other's needs this queen of cups is a repeat that is in his heart space okay future energies we have the way that they came out Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about a new beginning. So there will be a new beginning. There will be a new beginning. But yet again, the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, but I, it's okay. This is a dedicated, committed, up for the challenge knight. He is on his horse. He is holding that pentacle. He wants to build something. What does he want? He wants to build this divine connection. So together, you know, there's going to be this offer of this new beginning a re-energized new beginning that is going to be a dedicated and tr trustworthy but yet slow coming together in the future okay this is a divine connection with the lovers card they know that this is this this is a committed relationship now okay this new beginning this dedication and commitment will now be in this relationship people will move forward into smoother waters the six of swords is in her headspace, and then we end with temperance, which is for me, I feel like healing then occurs. It's not more patience. For me, it's like this is what they're working on right now. Temperance here in her heart, temperance in his 3D message around his divine feminine, and then it comes up in the future. And I really feel like for me, is this is success that hearts are going to be healed in the future, okay, around this connection. I feel like we're progressing. I really feel like we're progressing. And I just, um, I really want to get out of these fives, this five of pentacles, this five of wands, five of cups. I really want the feminine to really process and continue to stay in her power. And yes, she does need the help of her masculine now to heal this. And, and it's all about this justice and balancing the scales. But, you know, if he continues to com communicate with her and share with her and they continue to observe each other's needs with this page of swords energy we have great hope for this future okay and um i i'm just i'm feeling good i'm feeling good about it i was scared because the first card that came out for him was the three of swords i was like oh my god where is this gonna go but we had the three of swords energy followed by the fool followed by the ten of swords followed by the sun which i love and so for me that was all about ending this cycle of heartbreak and as i started to pull all the other cards it just stayed very consistent around temperance around healing that they need to continue to heal each other of this lack of this rejection of abandonment of conflict of disappointment and if they continue to invest in each other, observe each other, become a higher vibrational match, then there is great hope for their connection to come into union, okay? I'm going to leave you with that. I felt like that was a beautiful reading, and um, let me know if it resonates, okay? Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll be back on Monday. Bye.